What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have two new custom elite figures for you guys. Well one of them is pretty much just a fix up with a custom head right here. This Tyler Bate. And we have this brand new Cedric Alexander. One of my favorite superstars in the world. My favorite cruiserweight on 205 Live and in the WWE right here. Looks amazing. This was a uh, collaboration custom between me and my good friend BEW. Everybody knows who he is. He did the head work. He did the tat work. And then I did the red. You know, I did the wrist tape, got the uh, the parts used, and then the trunks, of course. So I guess what we're going to do is take a closer look at Tyler Bate, and then we'll take a closer look at Cedric Alexander. All right, so starting off with Tyler Bate, guys, as you can see, we totally switched up the head. The one that I got from ringside actually had some problems with it. The uh, mustache is vacant, as you can see right here, if you can tell. And I hated this head scan altogether. It looks like John Cena, and it just doesn't have any favoritism towards Tyler Bate at all. So what we did was we went through the fodder box and me and BEW decided that Cody Rhodes would be a very good uh, swappage to do right here so what we did was um, or I didn't do anything really I just sent him the head and the rest is history for BEW he came in did some hair work as you see facial hair eyebrows and then painted the skin tone perfect to match and in my opinion I think this is way too light for Tyler Bate anyway I don't know why they decided to go with this Jack Gallagher skin tone. I feel like he's more of a Seth Rollins or even a Cody Rhodes skin tone is way better than this right here. This is way too white in my opinion. This is like Aiden English and Sheamus territory. But he also did the tattoo underneath the wrist tape right here. And um, I think he totally knocked this out of the park. I'm not exactly sure what tattoo this is, but I'm loving it. It looks really, really great. And then here's the head if we can zoom in on it. So here's a closer look at the head, guys. And just, yes, just amazing work by BEW right here. I love the dry brush that we got going on and add some much needed detail to this head scan and I think this looks much better than the original Mattel release Tyler Bate. I don't think he did anything else um, if anything I may come in and add the stash or something to his trunks but I am loving this Tyler Bate again way more than what Mattel gave us but again shout out to BEW for this but now let's take a closer look at Cedric Alexander. Alright guys, here is Cedric Alexander, and what we did here was I sent, ex or actually I didn't send this, BEW had the head scan of Xavier Woods that I was looking for that I thought would match Cedric pretty well, and so he took it, he modified it, and it is looking very, very nice. We got the uh, necklace off here, off of the Elite 31 Uso, not exactly which one, Jay or Jimmy, and then we placed that on a Rich Swan body, I believe this is the full Rich, Rich Swan from the head down, and then I did uh, switch the kick pads with I think some ringside exclusive fin Balor kick pads to get the uh, you know plain black like Cedric wears plain black knee pads and then I did paint up the trunks and I gave him his thumb tape because that's what he does also BW came in and added his tattoos which I'll take a closer look at so here's the right arm right here and it is the lion tattoo that Cedric Alexander has looking very very nice very uh, very accurate to the actual T2 tattoo that he has and then here is the other one on his left arm which is the cross very much likeness to the cross as well so he totally knocked that out of the park he also has the ones on the back of his triceps right here he has that one and then the one over here so just some beautiful work by BEW as always into the trunks right here guys I did all of this myself as you can see I have a little scuffage right there that I'm going to have to paint up but um yeah, not much to the trunks, just some blue, red, and black. I like this attire the most out of all of Cedric's attire, so I wanted to um, do the one that I like the most. Got the CA design on the back here with the little uh, things at the top. And I think I knocked this out in about two and a half hours, the full custom. I got it in the mail today. The head scan came in today, and I just have been working on it all day. So that's what I did, and I'm happy with it. Let me know down in the comment section below what, uh, what you think of this Cedric Alexander. But that is pretty much it, guys, and I am loving all of this work. Again, huge shout-out to BEW for both of these head scans. But yeah, guys, that about covers it for the custom figures I have for you today. If you like this review, if you like these figures, leave a like down below. Comment down below what you think of Tyler Bate and Cedric Alexander. What do you think of these custom figures? Are you fans of these guys? By the way, I'm going to add that this should totally take place at WrestleMania 34. Uh, Cedric Alexander should win the Cruiserweight Championship win that tournament and Tyler Bate uh, he needs to go on and do bigger things I think that you know he has the boot right now for some backstage heat or something but hope he gets that cleared up very soon big fan of his as well but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video thank you